So now that we have our email and or our Twilio uh, configurations set up, we can actually move on to setting up our two-factor authentication policies. And how we do that is we come up to security in the toolbar and we click security policies. It should be noted that the only people allowed to see this window at all will be admins or above or anyone with specific access rights to the security policies. So you see that the window defaults open to login policies and down here at available second factor methods you can see that uh, SMS is grayed out right now because we do not have Twilio at the moment um, but email is available so we can check that and then we can come over here to the second factor policies tab and we have a few different options here. Um, so for second factor authentication type, it will default to not available no matter what. Um, but now we can choose either required, uh, either SMS or email, or for both. Um, this is obviously for increased security, but it might be a little time consuming. So you'll also notice that we have a few different methods for determining when the user is actually asked for their second factor authentication. So we have always, we have on new machine. So if the user were to transfer workstations, for instance, uh, we have on password change if, you know, whenever they need to make a new password. And then we also have every blank days, um, we can just set up so every five days the user will be required to enter their uh, two-factor authentication and then stale time this refers to uh, how long the code sent to the user is valid for and it is in hour hour minute minute so if i were to do 0200 that would be two hours if i were to do 0030 that'd be 30 minutes and you can also, because these are multi-check boxes, you can actually have multiple of these for whatever level of security you're looking for. And that should do it for our two-factor authentication. Uh, we will see you in the next video. Thank you.